so you're you're in the UK at the moment, is that right? And you're working on the the mix for the uh, the new album. On the mix, everything's like all finished, so we're just right now we're just prepping for uh, for tour and uh, enjoying some time off at home, and just relaxing really. Right. Do you always get kind of mixed feelings when you set out on a big tour? Like you feel you just sat down and you got to do this all over again. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of like, oh, I've just had a month off and I've enjoyed being at home so much, mm. and then it's like, oh, going away again. But <laughs> you know, first couple of days into it, you seem to get back in the uh, back in the touring zone. So it's just that night before where you're like, oh shit, I'm leaving everything. Yeah, big butterflies and all that. But... Yeah, yeah. And you uh, you finished the cool tour in the USA. Pretty recently, um, yeah. did, did you find it hard to get noticed with you know such an insane amount of talented bands on that bill? Like, yeah, we, we we had to really work for it. You know, we had to really go out and give the best performance we could every night. But you know, we we definitely seemed to make ground and merch sales were pretty good. So I guess we impressed a few people in the crowds and stuff. So, but no, we always we always have to you know give a hundred and ten percent because they're new people that haven't heard us before. So, no, yeah, it was good. That's good. Um, do you normally play with a different mentality when headlight when you know, support as opposed to headlining? Like, yeah, I guess I guess with, when you support, you kind of, when we're headlining, you can kind of go in and expect like people singing along and like expect a, a good crowd and mm. and stuff. But I think with supporting, you just kind of have to go in like, okay, this is probably the first time these people have heard us. You know, got to make a real real effort to keep something in their mind and make them like what we're doing. So definitely have to work a bit harder. And you get a lot of people just staring at you with your arms folded. And... Yeah, and you have to jump on them and get them to notice you. <laughs> right. Did, yeah. Was it, did, was it um, you know, each venue kind of change? You know, some crowds are really into it, some were not from venue yeah, to venue? Yeah, America is definitely kind of hit and miss. Like, some places are really good and some places are, are weird. But, you know, it's kind of the same, the same kind of vibe in, in America. I guess California is really good and um, some parts of Texas and stuff, you know, just got to work the whole thing like a you know same show every night try and impress the same people so it's always it's always fun all right and uh end of this month you're starting the uk tour with uh pretty good news that manchester's already sold out yeah um yeah and uh when was the last time you headlined a tour uh last time we did a headline tour was <laughs> was with misery signals i think i think that was the last time we headlined a tour yeah misery signals so you, and, uh, God, yeah. that seems like a ages ago. But right. no, we've done like a bunch of support tours and a few one-offs here and there. So, oh, we did the Never Say Die tour as well in the UK, and that was that was pretty recent. But that was that was a lot of bands. It wasn't really like a headline tour, mm. but we did headline it. But yeah, so uh, we're looking forward to this one. You know, we got to pick the bands and stuff. So we're definitely definitely looking forward to you know having everything our own way. Right. So, so you feel like you're prepared enough to, you know, be the big shot now. And uh, late October, you're back to the USA again, I believe, with um, yep. Bless the Fall and Atreyu. Yes. Uh, is that not a bit risky to, you know, you just come back to the USA? Do you think the same kind of crowds will, will come out again for the, for I the think, tour? I think it's probably going to be different kids, especially with Atreyu, the because they have a lot of radio play out there. And right. I think, it's, I think we're, we're not in a position to turn down, like, you know, mm. big tours in America, because it, it definitely helps doing those kind of big ones instead of doing 20 small ones. So, it, you know, it, it's it's kind of a strange tour for us, but, you know, hopefully it will work out well for us. Fair enough. And then uh, Australia, I believe, in December yeah. with Comeback Kid. Yeah, and that's kind of like the, the highlight of the year, at the end of the year. It's like our golden. Right. What we're looking forward to It's kind of like a holiday when we play in Australia, so we're, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, that's nice. That's your yeah. third time there, is it? It will be. Yeah, third time, third, actually, yeah, yeah, third time there. But, and every time's been amazing, so I'm sure this this will be nothing less than awesome. But no, we're, we're, it's definitely one of our favourite places to play. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm from uh, I'm from Melbourne, like. Yeah, but, was, yeah. yeah Melbourne's literally my favourite place to play. I, Melbourne's my favourite place in Australia. Melbourne and Byron Bay are just two awesome places. 
Yeah, they they do tend to uh, go a bit wild because you know they don't get many gigs <laughs> or international gigs anyway. Right. Yeah, it was great. Now you've uh, you've shown a new song on the radio uh, day in day out. Yeah. So, um, your showcase is a big change of direction. Uh, is that a good representation of how the whole album's going to sound? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's that's kind of the direction we're going. Mm-hmm. And we've had a lot. Like a lot of people have said, you know, it's kind of a, 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 a very big change in direction. But realistically, like I don't necessarily think it is like a huge one. I mean. Mm-hmm. Like completely different, but I mean, there's songs on on our last record which are much softer than that, and uh, you know, there's songs that, that you know, same kind of formula almost. You know, I guess, I guess we, you know, people can see it how they want to see it, but you know, it's, that's it's. I guess we've lived with it for so long. You know, we've had the record for ages, and we're kind of like adjusted to it. But um, you know, it's. It, I'm really flattered of how well it's gone down. You know, there's all negativity towards new songs and. Right. People like to be the the kind of person to uh, to you know break the mold and say that it sounds like Justin Bieber when it really doesn't. But you know, I'm really I'm really excited. Uh, yeah. The record definitely is in that kind of vein. So yeah, I mean, just to yeah. getting it out and letting people hear it. Fair enough. Like, well, just going on that song. Um, your vocals in particular sounded a lot less you know shouting and screaming. Yeah. A bit more, a lot yeah, more singing. Which, Now you mentioned, you know, you, you read what people say, like I suppose on the internet. And are you always someone that always does like keep tabs on reviews, and you're always interested in what people have I to keep, say? I keep tabs on, you know, if we, we announce a tour. Like I like to see what people think of that. You know, if when you know when the new songs go up and stuff, when and when the album comes out and reviews and stuff. I, I don't tend to read many reviews and stuff that we do, just because you know I'd, I'd feel the need to go and be criticised for mm. half an hour, you know, all praise, you know, it's the same show every night. Um, but yeah, we definitely keep on top of on top of stuff and sometimes I wish I didn't because sometimes it's so annoying and frustrating mm. and you want to be able to tell those people, you know, you want to answer the questions and stuff, but, you know, sometimes it's great, sometimes it, you know, makes you feel really happy and it's a, a good, to, good thing to do. Keeps you, uh, keeps you up to date with what kids are thinking and stuff. So definitely good yeah because some bands do tend to i suppose give in to what fans want exactly if mm-hmm. you know if twenty thousand fans said there should be more of this on the record would you would you listen or no i think i think with the record that we've just done i think we did the exact opposite of what kids wanted us to do you know it was in a certain sense you know selling out nowadays is completely different to selling out back in the day you know selling out for me personally, is is if we did a song with fifty break and a hundred bass booms mm. and a thousand gaps for vocals, and you know it was just ridiculously heavy because that seems to be what's cool right now. Whereas I think uh, you know for us we took a risk and we wrote, we did a record that we really wanted to write for ourselves. You know we had no influence from anyone at all. It was just like what us five guys wanted to hear, and we did, we, we successfully accomplished that. And, uh, you know, hopefully people will be into it, but it, people have to understand at the end of the day, we're, we're the ones that are going to tour this record for the next two, three years. Mm. 